the friends. I have a huge announcement. For the last 10 months, I've been working on something super special and it's finally ready. <gasps> Guess what? Leaner, not meaner. My complete body recomposition and fat loss plan is here, baby. Whoa. <laughs> I've lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for seven years. After I lost the weight, I was left with loose skin that I wanted to tighten and tone and some stubborn body fat that I wanted to get rid of. So I spent some years doing trial and error, making mistakes, learning from them, tweaking things until I found and perfected the perfect plan that worked for me. It helped me tighten and tone up some of my loose skin and lose some of the stubborn body fat and I was able to go from a size 10, which is what I was after losing the weight, to starting to fit in my first size four jeans. And I took everything that I learned and I laid it out in this plan. And Leaner Not Meaner, it's an ebook. It has my exact four week meal plan. It has 24 super tasty recipes that let, is letting me love my food and get the results at the same time and my exact weight training and cardio plan and some tips and explanations on why I do things the way I do and why it helped me um, get the greatest results. This ebook, everything I learned, has helped me be the leanest and most fit I have ever been. And I'm really proud to be able to share it with you guys you guys often say you wish you could spend a week or a month with me, you know, because you want to know exactly how I do things, how I think, what I eat, what I do, how I train. Well, this ebook is the closest thing to getting to spend an entire month with me, 24 hours a day, and see exactly what I do, what I eat, what, how much water I drink, every single thing. It's exactly that. There is so much value packed into this ebook, guys. The link is gonna be down below for Leaner Not Meaner if you wanna try it out. I love what I'm eating, what I'm doing, and I really wanted to put it into ebook form to hopefully inspire you guys to be able to do the same thing for you. Love what you're doing. Look at it as loving life, enjoying what you're doing instead of a punishment. The other really cool thing about Leaner Not Meaner is once a week in the meal plan, I have built in a day that I call a boost day, which is my own version of a cheat day where I eat a little more calories once a week so that it helps me stay motivated for the next week and also fuels all of my workouts, cardio, and days for the next week ahead. And that really helped me love what I was doing, look forward to what I was doing, enjoy tasty recipes, and get really amazing results for my body. This is what you get when you buy Leaner Not Meaner. My exact four week meal plan with the boost day included. 24 tasty recipes, my exact training plan, weight training plan, and my exact cardio plan and tips on why I do what I do included and all the calorie counts and everything. It's all in there. So I'm going to show you right now one of the best recipes from the book, my cookies and cream protein French toast. This will give you a little taste of the other recipes that are in there. Oh, you're going to love it and you're going to want more. Let's do it. Yeah. Cookies and cream, protein French toast. So far I have half a cup of egg whites in the bowl and two tablespoons of non-dairy milk. I'm using the silk unsweetened almond vanilla. Now I'm gonna put some sweetener in the bowl. This is the one from Walmart. I'm doing one teaspoon in there and then I'm gonna use two tablespoons of chocolate protein. I'm using the Huddled, heard it last time, S'mores protein because I am sponsored, but it's also the best protein. And if you go to the link down below, huddledsubs.com and use code Nicole, you can save 10% off your order. Two tablespoons. Yeah, they have, the other chocolate flavor they have is the chocolate donut, which would also work in this recipe. But we ran out of chocolate donuts, so that's why I'm using the s'mores. Any chocolate will work though, that you have on hand. And then the PS de resistance, we got 
Oreo baking crumbs. Any chocolate cookie crumb will work. Two tablespoons of this in the bowl. Oh, it's smelling good, guys. Smelling good. And then I'm going to mix it together with a fork, and then I'm gonna soak two slices of bread. A trick I like to do when I'm making French toast is use frozen bread, because I find it falls apart less when it's soaking up all the liquid. So I'm gonna let this soak up as much as I possibly can while I preheat my, hand, my pan on medium high heat. So basically, I'm just gonna put these guys in Give them a little dip like that. And this, guys, this recipe is so tasty and so, the macros are so good. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna show you like how this is topped after and then give you the calories and everything. So let's go preheat the pan. Okay, now that this is soaked up, I'm gonna put it in my preheated pan that I sprayed with cooking spray. There will be leftover mixture in the bowl. I'm basically just gonna spoon that on top because it will soak in as the French toast cooks. And we're doing it kind of on the quick today, but if you want, you know, let your bread soak as long as possible. And so that's what it'll look like. Cook about four to five minutes, and then I'm gonna flip it and do three to five until it sets, and then I'll show you what we're gonna top it with. It smells like chocolate cake already. <laughs> All right, time for the flip. Mm. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Look how beautiful and cute it looks, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is ready. I'm going to plate it up and then show you how to top this cute little thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got our cookies and cream for protein French toast. Now I'm going to take some low sugar, lower calorie syrup. We don't get that here, so I'm using this Nesquik less sugar and half a tablespoon, so it's like 27 calories or something. Then we're gonna drizzle this cutie over top here. Whoa. Look out, Gordon Ramsay. Whoa. What can we call me? Colith Ramsay, maybe. No. <laughs> It's here in the universe. Mm, don't miss out on that. Then two tablespoons of light whipped cream in a can. One. Two. And in the in leaner not meaner, we give you all the macros and calories. But if all like always, we always say that if you can't find the exact thing, just match it as close as you can. Yes, close as you can. Just knowing it might be a little bit difference in calories, just stay as close as you can. And then we're gonna do an eighth teaspoon of the um, Oreo cookie crumbs and just bahinga that over. And that is the tastiest breakfast you'll ever see. And these are the macros. So for one serving, which is all of this with the toppings, 414 calories, six grams of fat, 53 grams of carbs, and 33.8 grams of protein. Whoa. Whack load of taste, whack load of protein, and it's gonna get me, it's got me lean, not mean. Look at that. All right, the friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. The link for it Leaner Not Meaner will be down below along with the links for my weight loss ebooks and my guilt free cookbook. Check all that out. Save yourself 10% off the protein powder if you like and have a beautiful day. Now I'm gonna test it out for you. Get some of the toast, get a little bit of this, some little whipped cream. A little bit of that. A little whipped cream. Guys, years of hacking recipes because we don't want to give up flavor, but we want to eat in a calorie deficit. This is how you do it. This is literally cookies and cream dessert for breakfast with a ton of protein that's going to fuel my day, fuels my muscles. Whoa! Whoa. I eat this and do this and look like this! Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.